What's going on? You're evaluating, how do you rank the priorities when you're looking at backup quarterbacks, whether it's knowledge of the playbook, experience in the league, how it fits the offense that you already have, and then what they're actually doing through camp and through these preseason games? How do you decide the order of importance when you're deciding who's in that quarterback room? You, you use the word rating? Is that what you said? Yeah, oh, like sorry. ranking, ranking. Oh, ranking. Like, what are the, like, the top list of the priorities? Okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't know if there – it's definitely a, uh, an accumulation of a lot of things, right? I don't think there's any way you can ignore someone's past and um, not value what's going on in, in, in the present as well because um, experience is something that you can't uh, – right, you can't you – can't, uh, there's no substitute for that. So all of that's really important. And um, – but I think in the end, you know, it, what's most important is that you're, you're playing at the, you know, at your best when your best is needed. And so right now um, we're in this phase of training camp and, and we're evaluating this probably the most. And we'll, But we'll always lean and reflect on, uh, you know, a guy's past as well, experience or lack thereof. When you were at the Senior Bowl, how did it work as far as roster construction? Did you pick Tyson to be on your squad? Was that? No, 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 no. Yeah, I did not. So, when, but when you get him? Um, what were your initial like impressions of him in order to then want to bring him in here as a UDFA? Um, you know, uh, not just him, but the, all the guys on that roster. You get a really good opportunity to see them uh, kind of as a normal person, like in, in between meetings and going to meals and going to different functions. And, um, you know, then you get the meeting room part of it. So you get the classroom, like how what kind of student is he? And then you get the practice part of it, right? And so... Um, all three of those things were, were really, uh, were really, you know, really good for me to get the entire team. But for Tyson specifically, um, being open to see what kind of learner he was uh, was really important. Um, he was super successful successful in college, so like being able to throw the football, that stuff you see on on film, and uh, but getting around the person and seeing the kind of the leadership skills, the work ethic that he has, and and the, um, you know, what, what kind of demeanor he has in the meeting and on the practice field is what we, you know, probably the most valuable part you get from being in that situation. You mentioned experience a couple times as it pertains to, to what you look for in a potential backup. Does that mean that it's P.J. Walker's job to lose? Like Tyson bateman has got a shot at it, but P.J. Walker is the, is the backup quarterback? Uh, well, I don't, I don't want to say that just for the backup position either. I think for any position on it, uh, whether we're, going the starter for any position is compared to not just quarterbacks but uh, experience is always important because those guys uh, they can reflect on previous experiences and when you're in the game and there's uh, so much of our game is is situational football and so being able to have those experiences and be able to react in a certain way is very valuable um, when you get into that discussion that you're getting into by no means do we have one way or the other set in stone uh, this thing is in a uh, – we still have three more weeks to go before we're in that, you know, who's the backup and who's not the backup. Uh, you know, Ryan and, and Matt and those guys will make the decision when those when those decisions come to who's on our roster and everything like that. But we're just get we're, – our job is to get each guy better and then give everybody – every guy on, on, on our roster an opportunity to prove themselves. And so I think we've done that. We kind of mixed up last week with the order of the way the guys played. Uh, we wanted Nate to have more reps, more opportunities because he hadn't had them, um, you know, specifically through that week being in Indy. So that's kind of how that went. And we'll figure that out here in a day or two of exactly how we want to play this game out too. Does Tyson, does Tyson have a shot to be the number two quarterback? I mean, anybody has a shot, right? All, all, all three guys have done a really nice job through training camp. I think you guys have seen um, – like like most of the guys in our in our training camp, there's been good days and bad days for for uh, for everybody. Those three specifically, so uh, we're taking all that in. It, you know, I know he had he had a great drive, and that makes that's exciting for people. And, but that's one drive, so we it's, we're gonna make that part of the evaluation. Uh, but we're gonna take the whole training camp uh, evaluation before we make a decision like that. Luke, what, what difference does it make whether Justin and the first team starters and the, fir the first team offense plays or doesn't play? Saturday, with regard to preparation, preparedness for Green Bay. What, what, what was your what question? Does it make what difference, difference does it make? Um, decision. What's what's the difference yeah. at this point in time in the NFL? At preseason? Yeah, no, I mean uh, I've been through both sides of this thing in the sense of where you want guys to play to get the familiarity, the, the chemistry, 
Um, and then I've been on the other side of it where we felt like we didn't need to do that. It wasn't what was best. Uh, you know, obviously we're going to evaluate what, who we have available to us and everything like that to make those decisions. And then Ryan and Matt will figure that out exactly how much or, uh, you know, how long those guys will play. Where is he at? For your own line, is that the most complicating factor here? I don't know if it's the most complicated, but it's something that you do factor in for sure. Luke, where is he? Where is Justin with that familiarity? You know, get, or Iberflu said last week the reason he wasn't playing because he was right on schedule and you felt like he was at the right pace for this moment before sure. the season started. Yeah, and well, last week, I mean, we, we got a ton of reps in Indy, you know, those two days. So that was like little too many games that, that he got to play during the week. And so that's a, that's a lot of reps, not just necessarily for a quarterback because a quarterback can probably handle it, but everybody around him. That's a lot of that's a lot of work. So I think that's a big factor in making that decision for the previous week. Um, but no, I think Justin and the, and the guys. Uh, um, there's been a lot of really good things going on. The meeting room conversations have been great and kind of building on what like you know, we've talked about letting the players take it over. We've been trying to let that kind of uh, happen now, and so we're in that phase. And I think they're in a good place. So we we got a really good practice today and tomorrow, and then we get another we get another week of it next week. So we feel good. Uh, regardless whatever coach and, and Ryan decide they want to do this weekend. Last, last week, Flew said that you guys are seeing A to Z issues with the offense in terms of execution and detail in 11-on-11. In 11 11. Where do you see that issue pop up the most? When you say A to Z, what is that, that's it? That's a flu set. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really exactly sure what that means. I, just in terms of yeah. offensive line, receivers, backs, Justin. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's what we do, right? So we, we get on the practice field. We, we, we As soon as we get off, we as a staff, evaluate the, the practice film. And then we take it to the players, and, and sometimes we're individual rooms, and sometimes we're as a unit. Sometimes we're in diff different uh, little groups. And so the important part that we're doing in all that is that we are making sure everybody's aware of the mistake that may have happened or um, the lack of experience from you know experiencing that situation. Like the other day, we did a, a situation where you know we're running out of time at the end of a half, and it's it's fourth down. Right, and so we, we we did that on an indie, and so we, we came in here, and we practiced it, and so now the guys feel really good about you know what we're gonna do and how we're gonna respond when we're in that situation. So, all that stuff we need to experience as much as we can because we do have a pretty uh, young team, and so um, we we're, we're pretty uh, we're, we're pretty hard on the guys as far as making sure that we hold everybody accountable in that room. When, Those when, are when, when the lights come on September 10th, and you kind of get Justin in that live game action, what? what for your eye test, are, are you going to be looking for to, to feel like, okay, everything that we saw through camp is, is translating into to this, this live setting? I mean, there's not one thing in particular. I think playing the position, it's important that you're in control, right? And, and what that means is you're taking care of the football, right? You, uh, you're not getting surprised by anything. And if you do, then how do you respond to those things that did surprise you? And if, and if you're able to respond in the way that, uh, you know, not necessarily wins the games for you, but doesn't lose the games for you. Uh, you know you're on, you you know you've prepared somebody for that opportunity. And then as the season goes, and it's just like we talk about in here, he's got to he's got to get better each and every day. He's got to get better each and every game. Everybody on our team does. And so we can see that growth will be good. Go ahead, sorry. Two more. When you look at the competition in the running back room as we get closer to the 53, what's the dynamic like between you and Coach Hightower? And then how big of a workload do you have to foresee a guy having for this offense for you to say? That's, that should supersede his special teams value or, or, or another guy that, had, that, that that's deemed to have more special teams value. Yeah, no, we work together really well. I think that's a really important part of the game, that, that we all work together in that, in that. And we love versatile players. So, you know, guys that can do both are, are very valuable to our football team. Uh, when you talk about the, the amount of usage, then, then, yes, that's with every position. So if the guy um, ha has a ton of reps on offense or defense, then usually his special teams uh, – you know, availability is a little bit less. And so in the running back room, I think we have an interesting battle, like you said, because we have a lot of guys in there that can do it. And so it's been it's been really fun to see each one kind of take turns, you know, have their days. And then now they have an opportunity in Indy where they're doing pass pro against foreign guys and all that stuff. That was all really good, really valuable stuff for us. And each one of those guys is getting a lot better. Luke, part of the big picture conversation around this team and Justin is that he's entering the season as an MVP candidate. I'm sure it's something that's probably the last concern for you, but this team hasn't had a player enter the MVP conversation for like 10 years since Jay Cutler. Is there, what's the significance of that? I guess just like big picture to you where a player who hasn't proven it yet is still being considered among some of the greats for that that category yeah I mean I, I mean he's an exciting player right and then he had a he got to prove a little bit of that last year 
And so, you know, from our perspective, um, a preseason situation like that isn't very uh, doesn't, isn't very important. But if we're talking like this in December and January, then now we're we've, we've we're we're probably exceeding expectations of people, right? And but the most important thing for us is that, that is that and Justin just continues to grow. And not just Justin, but everybody on this offense. We've we've got to continue to get better each and every day. And like I've always said in here, we we have, we have a certain play style that we want to play and we want everyone to feel. And we have to make sure that when it comes to September 10th, that we're we're making sure that that's the the biggest priority uh, for us.